Lesson 15, Thomas S. Williamson. Thomas S. Williamson was a missionary who worked closely with the Dakota people of Minnesota for more than 40 years. Born in South Carolina in 1800, he moved to Ohio as a young boy. He went on to study medicine at Yale University where he became a doctor of medicine in 1824. Dr. Williamson married in 1827 and had three children, all while practicing medicine in Ohio. But after his children had died, Dr. Williamson decided to abandon the practice of medicine and seek the gospel ministry. He began to study theology in 1833, and after becoming a licensed minister, Dr. Williamson was appointed by the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missions to minister to the Dakota Indians. Accompanied by his wife Margaret and his colleague Rev. Alexander G. Huggins, Dr. Williamson arrived at Fort Snelling in May 1835. As a Christian minister, he was preceded only by Samuel and Gideon Pond, who established a mission on the bank of Lake Calhoun. Williamson established his mission at Lockheed Parle in present-day southwestern Minnesota. Immediately, Williamson took it upon himself to translate Dakota, a language previously unwritten. In addition to this, and establishing his mission, Williamson established a school, taught the Dakota to farm, and practiced medicine among them. Though the Dakota were not always receptive to Williamson's message and teachings, he persevered in what he considered good work. In 1846, Williamson accepted an invitation to establish a mission at Little Crow's village of Kaposha. There he preached the Christian message and taught school until the village was removed to a reservation in 1853. At this time, Williamson moved with the Dakota and established his third and final mission at the Yellow Medicine Indian Agency. During the U.S.-Dakota War, while living at Yellow Medicine, Williamson, his wife, and his sister Jane stayed to help protect and assist settlers and Dakota. After escaping to St. Peter, Williamson helped care for the wounded war victims. Following the U.S.-Dakota War in 1862, Dr. Williamson continued his missionary work by preaching to the imprisoned Dakota at Mankato and then at Davenport, Iowa. When the Dakota were removed to a reservation in Nebraska, Williamson, while maintaining his home in St. Peter, Minnesota, spent summers teaching and preaching to the Dakota people. In 1877, following over 40 years of dedicated service to his missionary work among the Dakota, Williamson finally completed a full translation of the Hebrew Bible in the Dakota language. He died in 1879. It should be noted that although Williamson and missionaries like him during the settlement period of Minnesota were advocates of the native Dakota people, their assimilation policies were at the forefront of a cultural genocide that stripped the Dakota of their traditional ways of speech, dress, and living.